Oh, this is actually so warm. How are you in a jacket? <laughs> I actually forgot what this place looked like. Ru the deal was last week, if I got a top 10, then Russell had to get his nipples pierced <laughs> and we'd hang a chain in between it and we'd hang Allen keys off him. It would be like a walk-in toolbox. It's happening this week. But look at that. There's a lot of questions here, but and not, not many a lot answers. Of answers eh? Exactly. This doesn't feel like a track walk. I reckon middle to low. Yeah, I actually kind of like it. Uh, yeah, I got x-rayed yesterday. Um, there's two hairline fractures uh, in the main bone here. As far as the dislocation goes, it didn't look like there was too much damage because it was only out for about 30 seconds, so um, that's at least a good thing. Um, yeah, I'd love to ride here in Lenza Hyde, but don't think it's going to be up to it, so hopefully it be good for Snowshoe, give that a go. No, that looks sick. I yeah, hope I you can know. clear that though, because I actually don't know if you can. There you go. We, oh yeah, that's all good. This is our freestyle course now. You better be here. Ready for some shrubs, I want a slow, oh, a slow mo oh, from nice. back here. I go scrub that way. Get you, you won't see the tires sliding off the lip. Unfortunately, Front. these boys can't do that. So uh, it's gonna be a tight race, I think. Not an awful lot of line choice, but there are wee things that you can do slightly differently that might give you that wee advantage, but. Yeah, when I blow up, I'm a sore high like Peter Pan. In real life, be living out my dreams. If I'm waking up, it's in a foreign land. Whole wrist covered up in ice. Dealership, never ask the price. I hit the molly ball with my dogs. Yeah, I swipe it once without thinking twice. Cause this is what I was made for. Man, I know this is what I came for. On a big stage, couple thousand people, they do whatever I say so. Have chicks that color of the rainbow. Yeah, chains on me like Django. Be a long way from my tank. Low. Nah, the track's good. Um I've done three laps now and it's all like cutting in, the lines are becoming obvious and drying up a little bit in the greasy spots so that's kind of good, um, just heaps of fun. And, I don't know, yeah I just struggled a bit today but we're feeling a little bit banged up but I'm lucky enough that I can still ride fine and uh, yeah, we'll just need to see what I can do tomorrow. So this is my custom painted Propane Rage frame. Um, we got them last week at World Champs. The paint job in, is inspired by like an old sort of colour TV standby when it was between channels and there was nothing on and just lots of colours and lines and stuff. So as you can see, that's the inspiration. Yeah, it's, it looks sick. Four parts and set up. Shelby Magic Mary. Um, 2.4 on the front, 29 wheel. Yeah, RockShot boxes. Got the six pack Millennium bars and stem. Um, I'm running the 45 stem, the bars at 770. SRAM code RSC brakes. Um, obviously Newman wheels. So I'm, I'm running a, a mullet setup. Um, 29, 27. Carbon XO cranks, um, 5 to 5 spring. Um, and the fork I'm running 160 PSI. I like it a little bit firmer at the front than the rear. Um, obviously when you're going down, then it just sits in, it's, it's balanced. Six pack Millennium seat. And then at the back I run the Schwalbe Magic Mary also, but 2.6. Slightly fatter for the smaller wheel, I just, I like the, the balance of it. And then SRAM XO drivetrain. I run a 220 rotor on the rear and a 200 on the front. Um, for me I drag brake a bit, so it feels like the brakes are even, doesn't heat up the back brake too much and don't get hand pump in my left hand more than the right, so. That's my setup and that's my sick custom painted propane rage frame. Yeah boy. Unfortunately I had to pull over like halfway down because my shoulder's just really bad. I pulling up just instant pain. Like just had to stop straight away. Yeah, it kinda sucks to not I'm not racing tomorrow again. Hopefully it's better for snowshoe, but uh, we'll see. In practice while I crashed and grazed my side and elbow, which is not bad, it didn't put me off, but I just rode a bit tight because of it, because I knew it was just a bit loose, and first time ever not qualifying without like a crash or mechanical, so, oh, hard pill to swallow, but need to do something about it, because that sucks. Yeah, I was 
a smooth run. I struggled a bit in practice. I didn't expect to just go be up there, but I just put together a smooth run, which was a good start considering I tried doing that in time practice and crashed or made a mistake. So yeah, I got a bit of time to make up, but it's definitely, definitely doable. Well, but yeah, we'll see. I just got a fork service last night, so I think my forks are a lot smoother. But um, trying to get my settings right. They're a wee bit different to what I thought they were. So yeah, just keep trying to keep track. But, yeah, it looks good, feels good, should be good. Oh, the secret, the secret. That's classified information. 23, 27, and 60 in the pro car. Optimal setup. How many runs shall I do today? Two. We'll go for two. Hopefully fast runs. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, so Henry go now up and at it for Propane Factory out of Ireland as he gets out onto the course. One point one seconds. Oh. Henry Kerr, Propane Factory now into that little left hander and trips out towards the finish line. Try to get to see. Let's go, Henry Kerr. Five seconds to go. Henry Kerr is dead low. It was just, I was dropped in, I was looking out the start gate and it was just raining and I was like, yep, this is, sounds about right. And then my goggles were like squint on my face and I was just like, oh well, we'll give it a go, see how it goes and got pretty loose to say the least, but managed to hold on to it and put together a pretty decent run in the conditions, so. Pulled 24 out the bag, so yeah, I'm stoked on that. Now I'm gonna go home, play some golf, chill, see my friends and then off to snowshoe. <laughs>